Welcome everybody to the North Saginaw Boulevard 24-inch water transmission main community construction meeting. If you have questions during the presentation, you can post them in the chat, then we'll address them after the presentation. If you can't post a chat, uh, we, can, we will take your questions after we have fielded all of the chat questions. Remember, you can always check the project page by going to www.fortworthtexas.gov and type in the project number, which is 102687. Then you can click on North Saginaw Boulevard 24-inch water transmission main. If you want to know about any changes to the project, be sure to subscribe to the project page. You can do this by scrolling all the way to the bottom of the page, click on subscribe to this page, and enter your email address. And I'm turning this over to your project manager, Susie Abbey. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome. Um, I thought I'd start things off with some introductions. Then we'll talk a little bit about the project and what you can expect during construction and then open things up for questions. So my name is Susie Abbey. I'm the project manager for the city of Fort Worth. Shane Ben is the inspector and will be your primary points of, con of contact during construction. Uh, for those that are calling in and can't see the slides, uh, my phone number is 817-392-8209 and Shane's phone number is 682-328-1264. Um, if you have any questions or concerns during construction, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. The contractor on this project is Jackson Construction, and Danny McCutcheon is the PM for Jackson. The engineering design consultant is Half Associates, and Leah Hodge and Preston Miller uh, designed the project, and they're on the call this evening. The project is in Council District 7 and the city's extraterritorial jurisdiction and in the Northwest Fort Worth Community Alliance. This is a snapshot of the overall project area. Um, in general, the 24 inch transmission main starts just north of Heritage Trace Parkway. Just north of Heritage Trace. Um, heads north in the industrial area and then generally tracks west of business highway 287 all the way to Bonds Ranch Road. The project also includes a flow transfer station in the vicinity of Muskogee Drive. I mean, I think I skipped. Here we go. So, why are we doing this project? So, this project is one of two in the area that brings water to new development in the north side floor pressure plain in the north uh, western part of the city. The first development that will be served by this water line is a brand new Eagle Mountain Saginaw High School uh, that's located along Bonds Ranch Road. And the school is expected to open in 2024. The other project is the North Point 24 inch water transmission main that's shown on the slide. Um, it extended water service to the north side floor pressure plane starting at Park Drive and all the way to the Heritage Trace uh, Boulevard. We'll be connecting where this project ended and heading. So we mentioned, so I mentioned water transmission mains, pressure planes, flow transfer stations. I want to walk you through what, what we mean by some of these terms so you can understand the project a little bit better. Um, a transmission main is a large diameter pipe, 16 inches or larger, that's designed to move large quantities of water to smaller mains and eventually to customers. Pressure plain is a part of, of the city that is at a certain elevation. The figure on the slide shows the north side three pressure plain in green and the north side four pressure plain in purple. The north side four pressure plain has a higher pressure 
than the north side three pressure plane. And so it needs a higher pressure water delivered to it to maintain the necessary pressure at the customer's tap. So this project traverses north side three pressure plane, but it, it delivers water farther north to those areas of the north side four. So the flow transfer station at Muskogee Drive connects the two pressure planes. And the purpose of this flow transfer station is primarily to maintain water quality in the large transmission main while the demands from the first development are still low. Um, a small amount of water from North Side 4 will be continuously released to North Side 3 uh, to keep the water moving in the big line and keep it fresh. Another function of this flow transfer station is to allow an emergency transfer from North Side 4 to North, North Side 3. So how will this project impact your property? The majority of the project runs parallel to the west side of North Saginaw Boulevard or Business Highway 287, and it crosses industrial commercial areas, open land and, and some new development. Neighborhoods in the vicinity of the project that will be aware of construction activities include the Cibolo Hills development, Chapel Hill development, and the North Water Tower Road neighborhood subdivision. However, in general, um, there should not be a significant impact to the community. Um, people will see the project, but there should not be any road closures associated. Signs will be posted to alert motorists, but uh, no road closures. The expected hours of construction are from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. We expect construction to start February 20, 2023. However, the heavier construction activities are expected to start in April 2023. Pipe will, and I do believe they'll start laying pipe in July. Um, construction is going to start at two locations. First at Heritage Trace, and then about a half a mile north of Heritage Trace. They expect expect to be working on two parts of the project simultaneously. And we expect construction to wrap up late fall of 2023. Like Sally said at the beginning, um, if you need more information, you could go to the City of Fort Worth website and type in the project number in the search bar, 102687, and that will take you to the project page. There you can download this presentation and you can also subscribe to the page to get updates throughout construction. If you need to report an emergency or a non-emergency, um, you can call the water department at 817-392-4477 and you can select option one to report an emergency 24 hours a day. Or if you need to talk to a customer service representative, they are available from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekdays, and they are closed on city holidays. Another way to report issues is to is through the My Fort Worth app that can be downloaded from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, main breaks, and any number of issues through the app. Here's Shane's and my contact information once more. Our email address and phone numbers are, are available. I'll read them out again just in case uh, we have some call-ins. Um, my number is 817-392-8209, and Shane's phone number is 682-328-1264. That 
concludes our presentation. Um, if you have any questions. Checking, we don't have any questions in chat. Um, Ryan, do you have any questions? No, I don't. Thank you for the presentation. Okay. Um, Lauren McCarley Pass. How about Kathy Hamilton? I have no questions. Thank you, though. Okay. David Mendez? No, no questions here. Thank you. Okay. Any of our call in users, do you have questions that we can answer for you? We just had someone join. Call in user six. Hello. Hi. We just finished the presentation. Is there something you want to, you're most concerned about? <clears throat> I was wondering if, um, are the roads going to be like really torn up? Is there going to be construction, uh, like traffic, I guess, congestion? We don't expect to close any roads or close any lanes during the project. So other than construction traffic, we shouldn't, you shouldn't see any extra issues with. Okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and how long is it going to last? going to be four. Well, I was looking at that today. Um, we expect to be done April 2024. April of what did you say? 2020 what? Four? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Um, okay. So is it just tying into another like main water line? Yeah, we're tying into a main water line off of Heritage Trace Parkway. And then uh -huh. at Ranch Road, the school will be bringing in a 16 inch water line to connect to us. Okay. All right. Um, you know, you had mentioned the, uh, the North Water Tower Road also. Um, my mother in law's house is right there on that cul de sac. So, I mean, I wouldn't imagine it's going to affect anything for her, but. <clears throat> That's it's kind of where it looked like it was going to be coming in at onto that new road. We'll be across the street, across Heritage Trace. From right, the, right. That's where we start. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And it's mainly just for all that new, the new um, subdivision, I guess, right? Or what is it? What's that why y'all are doing this? Or what's the situation? I mean, I know those houses are already occupied. So, yeah, what's what? Um, so the project we're connecting to um, provided some water to some of the houses in the North Point development. This water line takes it to, to the new school off of Bonds Ranch Road that should open in 2024. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. That'll be good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I guess that's it. Thank you. all